Cannabis has been used for pain and other medical conditions um, in China for nearly 3,000 years, in India for about 2,000 years. Um, it's also very widely used, religious and spiritual use. You can see this is an ancient Egypt, uh, Egyptian stone, and you can see the cannabis plant coming out of his head and the smoke from the pipe there. So it's long had religious uh, significance. And there's even a subgroup of, of Catholics who, instead of taking the bread and the wine to the Eucharist, actually have a split instead. <laughs>
with seven of his friends going to Slough um, from school and scoring cannabis. The seven friends got thrown out of Eton, but uh, David Cameron was actually kept on. Instead of being thrown out, he was asked to write, to copy out lines of a Georgic. Um, and if you can see, a Georgic is from Virgil, 29 BC. Imagine copying out those lines. That was his punishment. Interestingly, he hasn't introduced that into the criminal justice system. <coughs> and then Barack Obama just this year says, as a kid, I smoke pot. I don't think cannabis is more dangerous than alcohol. And that's quite brave of a politician to come out and say that, because most politicians are scared to death of the drugs. In. So all those people have had successful careers, Queen Victoria, Barack Obama, David Cameron, um, but other people don't do so on cannabis. So the question we wanted to address in our research was what makes some people vulnerable to the negative effects of cannabis and other people seem to smoke these and carry on and, and do perfectly well.